Um, and the first time I really kind of had a big confrontation with the bank was when people were dropping dead on the trading floor of heart attacks. And they asked me to work more in my capacity as a former medical doctor to help with the physical stuff. And I said, I can't do that if we don't address the mental and emotional piece because that's what's causing this. And they just could, could not get that. What did you want to do with those people in a specific and practical sense? What, if you could have, you know, been in charge of preventing them from dropping dead on the trading floor, mm -hmm. where would you have started? The understanding that stress, so everything that you're experiencing mentally and emotionally that's challenging, and things like a lot of travel, which is challenging for your body, that that raises levels of the hormone cortisol, which comes from your adrenal glands. And that cortisol courses around your blood through your entire body and brain. And the brain has receptors for understanding what's going on in terms of threat to your survival. So in a 24 hour cycle, depending on your age and your gender, there's a normal range for cortisol. So it can go up and down like this. You know, if something challenging happens, we need to adapt and rise to meet that challenge. But when that level is above the top range all the time, these receptors in your brain basically think that there's an imminent threat to your survival. So there's this whole cascade of hormones and they basically cortisol causes inflammation in the body. Mm -hmm. So inflammation of your vascular system, inflammation around your heart and everything else, gut and, you know, other things.